Go over Jeep Cherokee's advantages, and certain things stand out. Cherokee gives you a choice of two or four doors, two shift-on-the-fly four-wheel drive systems, and an optional four-liter six-cylinder engine that's more powerful, far more powerful, than anything in its class. All of this is precisely why four-wheel and off-road magazine named Jeep Cherokee 4x4 of the year for the second time. What is going on guys? It is Ty the Jeep Guy and once again we are here in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. Uh, I'm on a specific little route here that's going to take us to some harder stuff. We got snow on the ground, it's all wet and damp. Um, so depending on conditions I might go run a little bit of a harder trail. Uh, today I do want to take a second and kind of talk about and do follow up on the Smitty Built 9500 pound winch. Last time I talked about that winch was almost, oh gosh, two years ago. And uh, at the time, I didn't have anything really positive to say about it. I had a couple things, uh, but I just want to follow up and let all of you know what I think now four years of owning that winch. So let's get right to it. All right, so right off the bat, before I go any farther down the trail, something that I'm going to do, this has become common practice for me whenever I'm out by myself, I plan to take on something a little bit challenging. I'm just going to make sure that it's going to power up for me whenever I plug it in and go to use it. Is in the past, I'll get it all rigged up, plugged in, ready to go, and nothing. So let's see. I do it every time I hit a trailhead and I'm getting ready to do something a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna toss the controller in the back and we're gonna hit it. So, we've hit a predicament. Uh, GoPro's probably not gonna show how steep this is. Hopefully me trying to climb up it will kind of show <laughs> how steep and slick it is. But we're trying to go up like it's a pretty hefty incline and I don't wanna do any more uh, you know, damage than I've already done. There is underneath all this snow, it is pure, pure ice, look at that. So I found a stump up ahead. I'm gonna see how strong it is. Throw my tree saver around it and give her a winch and see what happens. I could just turn around, but eh. Another thing while I'm putting my winch cable away, I do want to show you uh, just always wear gloves when you're working, especially with steel cable on your winch. I don't know if you can see that very well. There's burrs such as that little guy that I just showed you uh, that form on your cable and it just happens. Imagine you got your bare hand and you're running that cable through your hand as you're winching it back in and that comes through and just cuts it's it's not gonna kill you but it's not gonna feel great
All right, so like I said, I was gonna find a spot to kind of pull off to the side. I got, I just got mud all in my hair. So the Smittybilt XRC 9,500 pound winch, this in particular model is now kind of like old news. So it's it's been out for four or five years now and it's become a lot more affordable. So I feel like I've been seeing a lot more out there. Now, this is gonna be my two cents. Don't take it, you know, so seriously. Take it like a grain of salt. This is just what I've experienced over the four years of owning it. Also, I do want to point out, like I said, I wanted to get off that trail because it was going to be 46 today. It started off super cold and then it just all thawed out and it all <sighs> turned into mud. So the Smittybilt XRC, when I first talked to you guys, I was having problems with the control box. Mainly, it for some reason would just go bad. It, it's not like it was I was putting heavy strains on it or anything like that. Famous Jeep four-wheel drive is built into every Jeep vehicle from the ground up, not added on. New standard electric windshield wipers replace the vacuum type. Uh, all I would do is like a couple times when I needed a pull, I'd hook it up and it, it'd fail. Vinny Bilt sent me the third control box. I went ahead and picked up this, a uh, little winch bag here. All it does is it goes over the winch to try and protect it from the elements a little bit better. So all in all, in four years of ownership, I'm gonna leave you with this. I personally wouldn't recommend the Smittybilt XRC 9,500 pound winch. There's gonna be a million keyboard warriors saying, oh, it's the most reliable winch ever. And that's just my luck I've had with it. All I did was hook it up and I had it fail on me twice and I had to get three replacement boxes. And this third one, granted, two years later, it's still doing a good job. I just, I'm always checking it because I'm afraid there's gonna be that one time I don't check it, I go out and run down a trail, I get stuck and I go to hook it up and it doesn't work. It's up to you. If you've got a good deal on one, pick it up. You know, just keep an eye on it. Test it constantly. Make sure it's always working before you go out. Jeep designed Cherokee to give you more than any other vehicle of its kind. Like a choice of two or four doors and room for five adults. And now you can get Cherokee with an optional four liter six cylinder engine that has more power, a lot more power than anything in its class. All of this is precisely why Four Wheel and Off-Road Magazine named Jeep Cherokee 4x4 of the year for the second time. Save up to $1,800 on selected Jeep vehicles, America's winners. But I personally, if you had the funds to buy either a worn winch or a Smitty built winch, I would go with a worn winch or <laughs> people are going to take me to the gallows for saying this was this next one. If you have the opportunity to pick up one of the higher end Badlands winches from Harbor Freight, I'd even recommend that over this one. But if, like I said, if you're just getting a steal of a deal on it, pick it up and just make sure it's working every time you go out. So I hope to see you out there. Remember to tread lightly and keep on jeeping on.